In a healthcare debate that's grown increasingly contentious, perhaps nothing has drawn as much controversy as the so-called death panels. Critics have tried to press the idea that the proposed reform would lead to government-sponsored euthanasia of the elderly. But nothing being debated on Capitol Hill would give the government such authority. So how does a proposal that doesn't even exist gain so much attention? It started with a portion of House legislation that would allow Medicare to pay doctors to talk to patients about end-of-life decisions, like a living will or hospice. Any counseling would be voluntary. Similar laws are already on the books. In 1992, under Republican President George H.W. Bush's administration, the government required hospitals to ask patients if they have a living will. Just a year ago, Congress approved legislation requiring doctors to discuss issues like living wills with new Medicare participants. And yet critics continue to claim the government is trying to push for euthanasia. They're doing a Trojan horse mm -hmm. to try and keep old people from living longer. You really believe that? You do believe that? Yes, I you believe, believe that this bill that the science... is deadly to seniors. It is okay. deadly to seniors. No, listen, I think that's and a, a very interesting point. That's really important. Even former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin jumped into the fray with a Facebook posting claiming her young son, who suffers from Down syndrome, would be subjected to death panels under the proposed health reforms. With his poll numbers on health care slipping, President Barack Obama is taking on the myths himself. Every credible person who has looked into it has said, there are no so-called death panels, an offensive notion to me and to the American people. These are phony claims meant to divide us. The real effect may simply be leaving the people who would be most affected the most confused. One person says one thing and the other one says another one and you don't know which one is really telling the truth. Given the uproar, it appears unlikely that even the original House provision on end-of-life counseling will be included in future versions of the bill. Julie Pace, The Associated Press, Washington.